Hey everyone, this is Joe Lewis, also as Gangster Games here, giving you guys his updated, um, hold on. I see here, let me fix this issue. Sorry about that. This is Joe Lewis, also as Gangster Games here, giving you guys his updated, uh, I see your giant ballpark deck profile. Hope you guys enjoy. Post the September Man List. All right, for this ballpark deck we're running is three copies of, um, let's see here, Neobug. I had to remember that name. Three copies of Neobug. Three copies of Kakamucho uh, Insect. I mean, Flying Karmari. My bad. My bad. My bad. I jumped to conclusion. Flying Karmari. Uh, is it, 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 uh, Flying Karmari number two. I'm trying to say it. Not number one. Uh, two copies of Dragonbite. I mean, sorry, three copies of Dragonbite. Hmm. Three copies of, uh, as you see here, Retaliating C. You know, this helps out with searching out the whole deck. Three copies of Pinch Hop Hopper. Uh, to let you guys know, Pinch Hopper basically says when it's sent from Field of Graveyard, it's best one from a hand a, uh, a uh, insect monster, so it does help out a lot. Plus, also, there's no actual normal summoning in this. There's only a small amount of normal summoning in this deck, but you really don't need a normal summoning if you have to. Because there are actually ways of summoning out buttons in this deck that don't need to be normal summoning. But yeah, basically, let's uh, see here. These, these six right here are for the ballpark. Uh, let's see here, Dragon Bite, so I can specify another uh, insect monster from my hand. Retaliating C, you know, basically when it's sent to graveyard, I can uh, basically add to my hand insect monster. Uh, this is your Pinch Hopper, like I stated. You guess when you sent from field to graveyard, you get special amount of insect monster. Three copies of, um, Of Insect, of, uh, is it not Insector, but uh, is it three copies of Infinite Antlion? Almost an Insector. Infinite Antlion helps out a lot with this deck. So, yeah. Three copies of uh, is it Oily Cicada. That's the last of the three ofs. Now off to the two ofs. For the two ofs, we're running two copies of Bio Insect Armor. Two copies of Gogi Pole. Two copies of B Trooper, uh, as you see here, Scale Bomber. Yeah, two copies of Scale Bomber. So it does help out. To those who don't know, uh, let's see here, Oya Cicada. Uh, basically, I do apologize for not remembering what Oya Cicada are also basically, as you see here, Infinite Antline does. But Infinite Antline basically, like, uh, basically allows me, well, basically, I don't even have to explain these cards, but I hate to say they're in every freaking ballpark deck, so yeah. Except, you know, these, some of these cards. I do apologize. It's, you know, you know, my brain is dead right now. It's basically, let's see here. Just woke up, so yeah. A while ago, so yeah. One, if, uh, as you see here, one of the, is it, of the, uh, see here, um, Kaiju. And one Skull Mat, uh, Skull... Yeah, skull mark bleed bug. I want to boost this up to two. If I do, if I can find another one, because this does help out with life points, and plus it's a target for us in giant ballpark. So yeah, it does come in clutch. But right now I'm only testing it. So yeah. Then for the spells we're running is three giant ballparks, three copies of um. Of Ninjutsu Art Mosquito Marchings. Three copies of. Uh, as you see here, Trapalizing Tunes for draw power. Two top copies of, uh, as you see here, Giant Ball Game. One Monster Reborn. And one copy of, uh, as you see, Terraforming. I'm not running on uh, Z here. Uh, is it, uh, what is it called? The card called, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, 
Call by the Grave. Because the reason why I'm not writing Call by in this deck is because there's not enough, there's not a room. There's not room at all in this deck. Unless I take out the, 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 darn, the, the darn Skull Mark Ladybug, but I don't want to take that out yet because I'm only testing it out right now. So, yeah. And to be honest, who really needs to be worrying about hand traps right now? So, yeah. Oh, uh, let's see how this count on the next shake, though, before I blabber off again. My apologies. Two copies of, uh, as you see here, of, of uh, Perfectly Great Insect. Two copies of Perfect Great Insect. One copy of Desert Lotus. One copy of Underground Arachnid. One copy of uh, Diabolus the Menacing Mantis. One copy of Trap uh, Trap Tricks, uh, as you see here, um, Maria. One copy of number two, Ninja Mosquito. One copy of number three, uh, is it the Dream this the Cicada King? Number sixty six, uh, Master Key Beetle. Then also as you see here for the extra deck, I mean also for links, we're running is one copy of uh, let's see here, uh, Shinobi Insect. One copy of Zector Pecaplana. One copy of Beecher Barnahorn. One copy of, uh, is it Seer the Earth Charmer? One copy of Seraphim. Pephalon. And one copy of Giant Beecher uh, of its Violas. Alright, hope you guys enjoy this deck profile. Uh, let's see here. Like, comment, subscribe on this giant ballpark. And basically, let's see here is it deck profile. And I'm going to let you guys know. I'm going to let you guys go. So this is Joe Lewis. Sam. Peace.